Uh, Fiji Broadcasting Corporation would like to advise the following detailed discussions between FPC and the Ministry of Finance and taking into account the current government objectives in insurance, ensuring that public funds are effectively used. We advise a significant reduction in government funding uh, for the public service broadcasting for the upcoming, uh, upcoming Government of Fiji financial year, beginning on the 1st of August 2023. Initially, the PSB amount in the 2023 stroke 24 budget was announced at $10.4 million. We, ex we have successfully brought this down by 40% reduction. The achievement is a result of careful examination of our expenses and eliminating excessive spending such as executive luxury cars, wasteful and inefficient expenditure. During the first six months of 2023, we, are, we have also increased our revenue streams. This thorough review has enabled us to determine that six, $6.2 million is the estimated amount needed to continue our PSB obligations without any compromise to quality and <coughs> diversity of content with no reduction in quality or delivery of our services. PSB primarily refers to our AM radio, that's Radio 1, PG1, and Radio Fiji 2, but also includes the English radio station Gold FM and content on FBC TV. These stations reach in all corners of the country, deliver essential programs, mostly of non-commercial focus, including content that is of national importance and integral to nation building. It is important to note that AM radio stations like Radio 1 and Radio 2 offer uninterrupted coverage even in the remotest areas of Fiji. This coverage is made possible by PSB funds, which are crucial for operating the remote areas and hard to access equipment such as radio towers in such areas. A significant portion of these funds is allocated towards the energy costs and ensuring preventative and maintenance of broadcast infrastructure. We are pleased to share that the adjustments to our operational strategies are already showing positive results. As FBC announced earlier, that we are financially ahead by $1 million for the first six months of this year compared to the same period last year. The accomplishment is a testament to the tremendous work and dedication by our staff and management. We would like to continue to reassure all 220 staff of their job security as we continue in building a self-sustaining business while increasing our investment in technology, training and development. This was a long-term view uh, of decreasing our reliance on public service funds, i.e. government funds. Moving forward, FBC is committed to maintaining a tight rein on costs while improving the quality of our content and services. We are undertaking major investments in te technological infrastructure, enabling higher quality of content creation. Our goal is to continue to uphold a truly independent, fair, and balanced service for news and current affairs. We thank you for your continued understanding and support as we transition towards a new phase of prudent financial responsibility and a commitment to quality broadcasting, including fulfilling our PSB obligations. Finally, on behalf of the board, management and staff, we would like to thank the Prime Minister as our Line Minister, and we would like to thank the Minister of Finance and their respective staff in having the collective confidence in FBC. Thank you.